How's it going everybody? It's your boy Spooky and today I'm going to be telling you about King Sand Crabs. So just to quickly get it out of, out of the way, I know a lot of people might be looking this up to see what the best safe spot is. So I'll just tell you right now that uh, where I'm currently standing is in the catacombs of Karend and it's the best safe spot that I could find. Uh, the reason it's so good, I'll just show you really quick, is because you can just grab all of these King Sand Crabs and then you can just stand right over there. And you can kill them one at a time, and they uh, they just can't get past this barrier. So um, you know if you if you feel like killing king sand crabs, this is by far the best place to do it. You can just range them or mage them, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, so just wanted to get that out of the way quickly. So now I'm going to be talking about the location. So there's only two locations in the entire game where you can kill king sand crabs. One of them is where I am at currently. So um, I will show you how to get here. This is. In my opinion, this is the only location that you should care about uh, because the other one requires that you at least start the Depths of Despair quest. But it also, um, you know, this, this spot has more spawns and it's, the spawns are just, you know, they're perfect. Um, there's just nothing else that you could possibly need. There's no reason uh, to go to the Depths of Despair area. And... Um, also, this is like fairly, cl it's fairly close to a, um, a teleport. So uh, to be fair, I did not time how long it takes to get from a bank to the depths of despair place. But if you just bring Karen teleports, um, let's say you get full of uh, items like these, um, you can just teleport to the uh, Karen castle right there in bank and then you can even teleport back and you can just save a lot of time. So anyway, that's just all to say. There are two locations, but this is the only one you should care about. But um, in case you want to at least see the other one, it's in uh, the Crab Claw Cave. Which looks like it's not going to show up, so give me one second. Okay, so if you wanted to go to Crab Claw Caves, it's south of the Woodcutting wood Guild which is on Zaya, so you can, um, let's see, looks like Xerxes Lookout is over there, and yeah, so the the best way to get there would be going from uh, the Woodcutting Guild, running south into the Crab Claw Caves, and then you could just use that bank if you wanted to, but as I already mentioned, um, I, I think you should just uh, use these ones if you feel like killing uh, some King Sand Crabs. So the next thing, um, what are they good for? So. The sand crab, the king sand crabs, in my opinion, are only good for one thing, and that's if you want to safe spot range or mage and um, just passively get some extra magic experience from alking the items, and you'll be making a little bit of money in the process. Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, they're a little bit in inconvenient to kill. They're they're not they're not exceptional in any way, and that's why uh, you don't see anyone killing these ever. Uh, it's an unusual monster, but, you know, they're kind of cool. <laughs> uh, one thing I realized, um, if you look at them, this is, like, obviously their front, because that's where their claws are, but they'll attack you with their side. Like, see this guy? They'll attack you with, like, the side of his body. It's kind of funny. That's the only reason. That's, like, their best redeeming quality is that they're funny. Um, but regular uh, <laughs> sand crabs might do that, too. So I uh, just thought that was funny. Wanted to throw that in there, but... Like I said, uh, they don't serve much purpose. Also, they're they're fairly strong. Um, it's not like they have one. Um, they only have like one attack, one strength, like the other crabs do. They have. Um, I can look it up really fast. They have fifty attack and fifty strength. So it's not like they're, you know, they're just really easy to tank. They'll do a lot of damage. So you shouldn't be meleeing them and giving them the chance to just like destroy you like that and the drops don't make up for it to make it worth it to use a prayer potion so really like i said the only reason you should kill them is if you feel like a leveling up ranger mage um i will say they are great for mage experience because um they have one level one magic and no magic defense so uh it's basically just the lowest level possible so that is good so now um i will show you how to kill them which i already showed you but just to I guess re-emphasize um, you don't want to spend if you're gonna kill them you don't want to be spending a lot of time just like always grabbing them and making sure they're aggro or whatever so you just want to grab all five of them and just kill them like this 
and if there's something worth grabbing, you can just turn on protect from melee. You'd even consider putting on uh, your quick prayer for protect from melee. And if there's something you want to grab, like one of these, um, you can just turn it on, grab it, and run back to this spot. And um, this is pretty generous. Um, they can't make it past this line, I'm pretty sure, so you don't really have to worry about it um, too much. So the last thing I'll talk about is um, their drops. And they have some okay drops, certainly better than regular sand crabs. Uh, you can expect things like you you see in my inventory. Um, one really common thing is a myth axe, uh, steel plate bodies, black plate bodies. All of these are about 1 in 25. And then they do drop some rock shell armor, but those are really not worth anything. So the drops you're looking for are like black plate body, steel plate body. So, I mean, maybe if you're an Iron Man, you have that specific use for killing these, but for regular accounts, um, yeah, there just isn't, there isn't much use to killing them. So anyway, um, black claws, that's quite an interesting drop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I wonder if they have a special attack. No, they don't. So anyway, they'll drop, um, random stuff like this and you can just out them, um, like I said, if you if you have the desire to kill these and you just want to get some like passive magic experience from Alking, uh, plus some passive money or whatever, um, that's one, you know that's that's the best uh, scenario for killing these. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, pretty simple monster. Um, not not too much to say about him. So uh, if this video helped you, please drop it a like. Um, consider sp subscribing, like I already said. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.